My name is Kay Kimberly Siegel, and I would like to introduce you to H2Safe Technology. H2Safe LLC owns patents on technology for safer storage of compressed or liquid hydrogen, compressed or liquid natural gas, industrial gases, oxygen, and liquid petroleum in mobile, stationary, airborne, rail, and maritime applications. With present-day technology, these gases are stored in cylindrical, single-chamber tanks. If the tank is compromised, such as being penetrated by a bullet, all of the hydrogen is released immediately, resulting in a fireball. With H2 Safe technology, the storage tanks would include an insert of multiple smaller chambers or could be integrated into the outer wall of the tanks. In this case, if it is penetrated by a bullet, only a few of those chambers would fail, releasing a very limited amount of hydrogen, and a potentially catastrophic event would become a non-event. In addition, the H2 Safe technology does not restrict the shape of the storage tank to being only cylindrical. It could be square, pillow-shaped, or other exotic shapes, using the space which is presently wasted by a cylindrical tank, allowing for additional energy storage, significantly increasing the range of the vehicle. H2 Safe patents have been granted not only for the US, but also Europe, China, Korea, Japan, and New Zealand. I would like to welcome my guest, Dr. Nijet Vaziriglou, who is internationally recognized as the world's number one authority on hydrogen. Dr. Vaziriglou organized the landmark International Conference on Hydrogen Energy in 1974, where he first proposed the hydrogen energy system as the permanent solution to the depletion of fossil fuels and to the global environmental and health problems they cause. He is currently President of the Board of Directors at the International Association for Hydrogen Energy. Welcome Dr. Vazira Glo. Thank you for taking the time today to give your opinion on H2Safe technology. Now that you've studied the technology, what is your opinion on how H2Safe technology would fit into the hydrogen energy system? Yes, I think H2 safe technology is very important for the hydrogen energy system because it will make the storage of hydrogen, whether it is gases or liquid, much safer than without it. Uh, thank you. As you might know, hydrogen is very volatile and it can easily explode. So there is a safety problem, but using H2 safe technology, storage of hydrogen can be made much safer. Why, thank you. Um, can H2 safe technology be used with other fuels besides hydrogen? Yes, any flammable fluid, gases or liquid can be used with H2 safe technology to make their storage safer, much safer than the present systems. What other uses for H2 safe technology um, would you suggest? First of all, there are now in the market many hydrogen fueled cars, Toyota, Hyundai, Mercedes, and others. And these are all stored in cylindrical storage tanks. Yes. If there is an accident, if there is a puncture, there will be a fire, and the fire could grow and cause a lot of damage. But H2Safe technology, the storage of hydrogen in these cars will be made much safer even when there is an accident, a collision, there could be no fire because of this technology. No fire. Um, yes. 
and how, how it would work that it would prevent a fire or an explosion? Well, uh, in age to save technology, the storage tank is divided into smaller compartments. So when there's a puncture, less hydrogen comes out and it may not cause a fire or explosion at all. Even this, with this technology, because of the compartments are smaller, mechanically the storage tank will be stronger so there may not even be a puncture in the case of an accident or collision. So it would control the release of the hydrogen to limited amounts? That's right. Now, the, you've mentioned before to me that you're concerned about these railroad accidents, which have, uh, so many have been happening in the last three years. How do you think H2Safe technology could help prevent those accidents? Uh, could, could you repeat this question, yes. please? Yes. yes, of course. You've mentioned your concerns about the railroads and the railways having accidents when they're... Uh, when they are transporting these big oil tanks. And in one case, it practically devastated an entire town when it went off the railroad tracks. That's right. As you know, during the last two or three years, there have been several railroad accidents, railroad tanker cars carrying fuel oil or flammable gases or liquids with accidents, there were big fires, even there were many deaths in the case of the accidents in Canada. Yeah. Now, these storage tanks could use age to save technology in their tanks and make, make the tanks much safer, both mechanically and also from a fire point of view. You mean the storage tanks that contain the the oil? Yes. I see. They are getting food oil and flammable gases, flammable liquids. You also mentioned that insurance companies, uh, that, that it could help reduce the cost of companies that they pay for insurance if they use this technology. That's right. Because... Uh, the accidents will cause much less damage, much less deaths if they use a to safe technology. As a result, insurance companies would charge storage systems with this a to safe technology much less premiums because there is much less likelihood of fire and damage to goods or even to life. Now, we haven't mentioned pipelines yet, natural gas pipelines, and that could be a very big area that uh, several people have mentioned to me and you've mentioned to me for H2Safe technology, for large pipeline systems. That's right. So large pipelines are storing flammable gases. It may be natural gas, it may be hydrogen, it may be fuel oil or gasoline. And if these pipelines are divided into smaller compartments, in the case of an accident, the flammable liquid or gas coming out of the pipeline will be less, resulting in less likelihood of fire and less likelihood of damage. Again, insurance companies would charge smaller premiums for such pipelines. Well, there, um, what other applications could you think of that H2Safe technology could be used for? Uh, well, it's already been brought to my attention for forklifts and uh, many other applications. Perhaps you can think of some additional applications. That's right. Whatever flammable gases or liquids are stored, 
cars, forklifts, buses, trucks. We could use age to save technology. Well, to the benefit of accidents that is in the effect of any fires. Well, I hope this word gets out to the public, but do you think the public is ready to accept this technology? I think so. I think so. If all the car companies use this technology, you know, they could advertise that hydrogen is not a dangerous gas. It is safer than other fuels because they are using age to save technology in their storage tanks. And uh, as you know, because of the Hindenburg accidents, hydrogen is thought to be a dangerous gas. So with your system of storage, safety, storage safety, all the storage tanks for hydrogen, liquid hydrogen, gaseous hydrogen, even for other flammable gases and liquids, would become much safer. So you feel that public acceptance is not going to be a problem? I think public would love it. Also for the environment. I know you're very, very concerned about the environment. Less fire, less damage, less accidents. Environment will be safer as well. Well, thank you very much for your opinion. Were there, was there, were there any additional comments that you would like to make? Could you repeat it, please? Yes, of course. Uh, are there any additional comments that you would like to make? Yes, uh, I would strongly recommend hydrogen safe technology wherever we store flammable gases or liquids to be used. Because it is the possibility of accidents, possibility of danger, possibility of fire, and make the environment much safer. And you think this would be work for stationary storage as well? That's right. That's right. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Vaziriglo, for joining me today. And I very much appreciate your comments and the information that you provide. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much again.